I really wanted to do this tier list. I've been thinking about it. But so far, this is what I have. I'm gonna start with number one. I'm gonna start with Tenzin here. And I think... I think Tenzin would just survive. She seems like she'd be kind of cracked. Like, she would just know what to do. And she would survive the apocalypse. Ellen. Dude, he's dead. Guys? I might be missing people from the list, but I couldn't be bothered. I'll be so for real. I just... It, listen, if you guys say names, I, I'll just add them to the list, okay? But so far, this is what I have, okay? Okay, Bella? I don't know. What? I actually am not sure. Survive. She was in the military? Okay, and then she's like... Oh, so she's good. I respect that. Abe? Nah, a dude. <laughs> He would. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He probably wouldn't. I don't think he would. No, surely not. Okay, when it comes down to it, in a zombie apocalypse, I don't think Abe would actually betray his friends. Um, he's actually a big scaredy cat. So, I mean, he's just dead. <laughs> Josh. Josh? Hmm. This is hard. You guys think he would give up? Wait, we have someone from Josh's chat. Josh would sacrifice himself or die. <laughs> and they, they use Josh's emote. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, if his own chatter thinks, you know, sacrifice. Okay, I can kind of see that. I feel like he would sacrifice himself for someone, but he wouldn't want to. You know what I mean? He's like, great. Just great. I got bit saving you. <laughs> I want you to know that. <laughs> um, let's see. Harrison? Oh, Harrison would definitely fight zombies for sure. I think that's accurate. Um, Connor. I feel like he would kind of join the zombies too. I feel like he would because he would find it interesting. He'd be like, oh, you're saying I can I can join that side? Then I guess I will. Go on. He seems like he would. Tarek? Tarek is... I, I don't know. I could see him surviving, but I could also see him having like a silly death with Elam. Like I can imagine Tarek and Elam fighting and they both die. I feel like Elam might just die and then maybe he just like survives on his own. <sighs> I think he's I think he's dead. But he could you know what? I'll give him a better death. I think he would sacrifice himself for someone else. Lud? Oh, that is just so fast. There's nowhere else he would go. Definitely betrayal. Like a hundred and ten percent. If if the opportunity arises, we're all dead. If they, if someone told Lud, hey, 100% chance you live. And listen, everyone else, you're all already at a 50% chance. Like, come on. At least one of you should have that 100% chance to live. He would take it. He'd be like, oh, I have to do this. But in his mind, he's going to think of it as a good thing. He's like, I have to. If one of us has to live in the group, it should be me. That's probably what he's thinking. Mouse. She would, she would, she would, she would. I could see her just giving up, Loki. I could see her just saying, well, we're all screwed, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, that is Lily too. Oh, Lily's definitely giving up. You know what? I think Mouse would survive. Lily is giving up instantly. Celine. I think she would sacrifice herself. <laughs> she just gives off that vibe where she'd be like, hey, go on without me. Shoto betrayal 100%. Honestly, he gives <laughs> he gives off like he'd be in the same boat as Lud. I'm just saying. Zombie moan ASMR is insane. Yvonne. 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 This is really hard. I actually don't think she would give up, but... <laughs> Silly death for sure is crazy. No, that's disrespectful. <laughs> Putting her in silly sad death next to Ella feels disrespectful. Even if it's true. I I don't know. Is she, is she doing a silly sad death? She does this thing where when she messes up, she'll look at me. <laughs> and she'll do like the silliest little like smirk. <laughs> like she's like, yeah, I effed up. <laughs> like she does, she does this thing. Like she could, but I feel like, okay. Zombie apocalypse. It comes down to it. I think she's just dead. 
Let's see. Ryan? Ryan would join the zombies. I don't know. Something about Ryan gives, like, um... Whatever... Whichever side is having the most fun. Wait, 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 wait. That's a good one. Gets the group killed. <laughs> she would get the group killed for sure. She was already trying to... We are getting coffee today. And she was taking us to the wrong direction. She's like, actually, it's this way. And then she was staring at her phone. And she's like, wait, actually, it's this way. So I think she's going to think a certain area is safe. And she's going to be like, oh, guys, there are no zombies here. We're going to go there and it's going to be infested with zombies. And she's going to get everyone killed. It's yes, she did it in Korea as well. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you that know, Leslie gets the group killed 100%. <laughs> or a silly sad death. It's one of those. Um, which one is more likely? I think a silly sad death. Um, Janet. I think she survives. I feel like I feel like Janet would be kind of crazy with it, right? Pokey. I think she's like Janet. I think she just survives. Just survives the apocalypse. Saikuno gets the group killed. 100% dude. I don't know if he's even going to take the zombie apocalypse seriously. He's going to treat it like a game, bro. There's like, there's no way. There's no way. He gets the group killed and he survives till the end. Because of plot armor. It's, it's sick, really. When I think about it, it's like, mmm. He's gonna be like, guys, there's just no way there are zombies behind this door. And he's gonna open the door, and the horde of zombies are gonna push through and, and kill us. And it's like, Kuna's gonna be there safe somehow, because they all just rush past him. And he's gonna be like, oh, that is so awkward. And he's gonna live! And then he's gonna be like, well, I'm gonna have to find a new group of friends. <laughs> Tina? Um... I think she's dead. <laughs> okay? I think she's dead. Because I just don't think she would want to live in a zombie, like, apocalypse. It, it, she goes one week without, you know, being able to to take a shower. She's going to feel self-conscious. She's not going to like being near us. She's going to be like, ill, you guys stink. And she's like, wait, do I stink? And then she's going to, I don't know, I feel like she's going to freak out. And she's just going to hate everything. Brooke? Hmm... I feel like she would fight the zombies. I could see her. I could see her fighting. She seems like someone that would say, Get behind me, guys. And start beating up the zombies. Foolish. He he's either betrayal, silly sad death, or he joins the zombies. Maybe he even fights the zombies. Dude, Foolish could go anywhere in this list. I actually don't think he betrays. When I think about Shoto and Lud, <laughs> I don't think he betrays. I don't think he betrays. I think... I feel like it's a silly sad death. I feel like whoever is with Elm in the group, you're all going down a silly sad death. So I feel like that's not really fair. Foolish is by himself in a zombie apocalypse. I think he survives. He's definitely not sacrificing himself. That's for sure. Like if I could ha add another tier and write down selfish survivor, like he goes there. Like he goes there 100%. He's gonna be like, sorry guys, not enough bandages. It is what it is. <laughs> Not enough food? It is what it is. <laughs> As he keeps the candy bar in his pocket. <laughs> Emily! Love you! I love you! But I do think you will have a, a, a silly... A silly sad death. But I love you. She will be streaming it though. She will be live. Um... Arya? I, I honestly... She survives for sure. I feel like she's so versatile. I feel like she could do it all. I think she just lives. Um, let's see. Crops? Hmm. He'd give up. <laughs> he would give up so fast. He'd be like, nah, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> no thanks. Hassan? Hassan's kind of like RNG. He's alive or he's dead. I don't really know. He is a scaredy cat though. <clears throat> but maybe being a scaredy cat could be a good thing. Like he might be able to hide really well. So that's why I feel like... It's RNG. Like, he could be, he could survive. He could die. Let's see, Mizkif. Oh, 100%. Betrayal, so fast. Peter? Betrayal. I could also see him as sacrificing self for others. <laughs> actually, I see him sacrificing for the greater good. I think he would, actually. Listen, listen. I think it depends who's in his group. Maybe his group is just him and Abe. Then betrayal made sense in my head. But let's say it's it's like him and Anita. He's definitely sacrificing himself then. You know what I mean? So I feel like it, that was hard. 
We need a new category for fighting zombies than dying, because that's Rey. Why does she have to die? I think Rey would survive. I think she would scream. I think she would scream really loud and then get herself killed. It's hard. I don't really know. Okay, if I think about it, Rey, I would want her to survive. Listen, between you and me, I would want Rey to survive in this zombie apocalypse world okay but i think the reality of it is she has a silly death and i don't want it to be a silly death but i think she would low key she's not giving up she's definitely fighting she might sacrifice herself for others uh, i don't know i i, I think she would really want to live I feel like the, it's a 90% chance she lives and a 10% chance for a silly sad death <laughs> I can see it. I think it's just because I know her that I see the 10% chance of a silly sad death. Let's see, Broden. Um, Broden would definitely join the zombies for sure. He's quirky like that. Cutie? I, don't, I, I can't tell. You think Cutie would give up? Can you blame me? Well, Broden, what's up? I, I don't blame you. Would she be scared? I don't think Cutie would be that scared. I feel like she's kind of a tank. She would survive. Cutie's RNG? Mm, I feel like she would live. I think she'd be pretty good. I'm gonna put her in RNG. I'm just unsure. I am just unsure at this point. You guys are giving me parasocial vibes where you sound like you know her so well. So I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna put her up to the RNG gods, I guess. Her etoile is dead. Him and Blau, they're both dead. Cause like, how are they gonna get insulin? You know what I mean? They're they're just dead. It's it's just unfortunate, really. I think Etoile would try to join the zombies then. If the zombies say, hey, we're going to cure diabetes if you join the zombies, he's going. He has no other choice, really. Wait, Team Zombie is for sure winning. We got me, Ryan, Alex, Connor, Etoile, and Danny. This isn't... What do you mean we're winning? This is not... That's not how it works. <clears throat> Jack? I feel like he could be spicy. He's either in betrayal, sacrifice self for others, survives apocalypse. I, it's one of those three. I just don't know how noble he is. Like, would he really sacrifice himself for others? I actually think Blau would like totally sacrifice self for others. Or he gets the group killed. Or he gets a silly sad death. He might just get the group killed, honestly. He might be like, hey guys. I really know that this one route is going to be really good for us, and I think we should all go. You distract the zombies over there. He's going to treat it like Valorant. He's going to be like, the four of you go there. And I'm going to make a lot of noise here. And the zombies are going to think that we're all here. But in reality, you guys are going over there. And then we just all die. I would, I think I would give up. Low key, I think I give up. I might be spicy with it too. I might just do a little bit of a... <laughs> Just for the memes of it all. I know I know Nobby would go into betrayal and I might just give up. Nobby would betray so fast. If the zombies had rice and chicken, it's over. Nobby doesn't care. No one no one exists in that timeline. You don't understand. Silly sad death is definitely LM, like so hundred percent, five billion percent. To be fair, I started my day like really late. And oh, he's just a baby. Just a wee little lad. I feel like everyone wants to steal my dog, low-key. Look at him. Perfect though, huh? Perfectly high. Perfectly silly. Perfectly permanently on drugs. That's just his life, really. He's famous. Kitty also wants your dog. I know. Kitty also really loves Nobby. Every time she's over, I just automatically give her Nobby. But I honestly think if there's someone out there that doesn't like Nobby, I feel like that's a red flag. Like, you're a red flag of a person. <laughs> You don't like this guy. You don't like him? I refuse to believe you're a green flag. Look at him. He's just happy to be here.